You ain't got nothing for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know if you heard the news, Helen, but Mersh has got a gun. Mersh has got a gun. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Look at those thunder thighs. So pause. What's up, baby? What's up? <laughs> Shout out to r slash Mersh. This is a preview of what's to come with Philip Wave. I'm moving this week, Bro. so I, won't, I probably won't have any free time until next week. David uh, Kike is here. Uh, probably out here. Did, you see, did you see his drive through video? We're going to watch that McDonald's? tonight. It's coming up, David. Get excited. I'm glad you're here. I just want to give super you excited. a preview. Shout Not out really. to 3D Al. Go subscribe to the 3D Al YouTube channel. He makes the 3D Mersh models, and he has given me fat, bald Mersh with a tiny gun, and we're going to get it. Let, let's go. Philip Wave, season we're, three. Hey, we're back on Mersh's ass. Yeah, man. Yeah, Mersh's <laughs> vacation is over. Fuck him. As soon as they get kicked off of YouTube, we start kicking them. Kicking them while Oh, hey, down. Mersh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, bro, bro! I just pulled out my gat and I and I stopped a gang of thieves. <laughs> totally kicked some oh, some hoodlums, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. You beat up some There's hoodlums? No Did they have special needs or something? What, what were they doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Marsh. I think maybe you kicked a dirty hoodie into your pile of laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Let Papa Marsh tell the tale, bro. I just pulled some hardcore oh, enforcement shit at the local now? McDonald's. And I'm not going to lie, if I didn't have Plus. my shit on me, I probably wouldn't have been as bold as I was. <laughs> this is Mersh's actual text. And, and this is about him stopping some maskless hoodies or some maskless ne'er do wells at a McDonald's, <laughs> followed by footage of him talking about the incident. And then we also have a Plant Man video. Of uh, him gun posting. There's a lot of stuff coming. Get excited. Ian, 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 he kept mentioning the black guy and him making eye contact like they were like soulmates and like they were like both feeling the same way. <laughs> did you did you pick up on that? Yeah, uh, yeah. He knew what was up. He knew. <clears throat> he knows I'm a real one. He, <laughs> he knew what time right. it was. It's so uh, fucking crazy. I'll be quiet. Here's now. a here's a screenshot of it, and then the merch character is gonna read the entire text. I just pulled some hardcore enforcement shit at the local McDonald's. Hardcore. And I'm not going to lie, what? if I didn't have my shit on me, I probably wouldn't have been as bold as I was. <laughs> Let's just say maskless partygoers <laughs> cutting line drive through. This is important because he will contradict this point later. So he contradicts how badass he is making this situation seem. Mersh is already out there having adventures with his gun. Is that uh, oh, he what we're he seeing here? Wait. He's enforcing. Yeah. He's an enforcer. Mersh has got is a, this not a responsible gun owner. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like a vigilante now. I'm like Batman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so angry at these people that I cut the line. There were so many people on the line already that I knew I had the people behind me anyway. So I got out, Pause. walked over, and I waved at them and pointed. So Mersh is at a McDonald's. The story makes no sense. This is one of those McDonald's where there's two, two pull-up windows, and then you merge into one pay lane. And Mersh, in his head, sees someone no cut ahead. Cut. Sees someone cut ahead and is like, I knew the people were behind me. <laughs> I knew the people behind the people. me were behind me. <laughs> the people. There's no way I, to cut in line. I, yeah, I no was like Malcolm X when he went to jail and everybody showed up and put their fists in the air. Like, like the people were with me. Like, you know, we were on some BML shit. <laughs> yeah, and how do you maneuver a drive through so that you can get in the back of the line from the front? If somebody looks... If You're somebody kidding. looks down at their phone, you can kind of sneak into the space. So that's probably what happens. Somebody probably fucking went ahead from the side or something. Or, you know, cut you line. Like you could cut the back of the line. They probably didn't cut no, everyone Rex, off. Rex, they probably cut nobody got, off. No. 
Nobody yeah, thought he had his gun. And he's like, bro, he just had his gun, so he wanted to find a fucking reason. Yeah, I and do think did this shit is wrong. a fake story. Right. Mersh is a person. Oh, I'm aware of that. <laughs> I'm aware of that. Like, I know Mersh is out there trying to look like a fucking hero with his gun. Like, I know he wants to talk about it. I know he wants to incorporate it in his daily life. Mersh prays. Yeah, he's an he asshole. Come, he prays he comes a, yeah. across a purse snatcher. Like, he is dying to be a hero with a gun. I the hope only he thing does that stops too. a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. <laughs> we have Mersh. <laughs> he's really him. Him. all over the news. <laughs> <laughs> Super Mersh. Listen, sir, you don't need to follow those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but he's gonna get away. <laughs> they always get away. I see him Fat, with Skittles. <laughs> faster than a googly eye. More subs than a Saiyan's entertainment. It's he's, Mercy Man. <laughs> he's like fucking one of those like dark vigilante superheroes, like Batman, where he's like uh, questioning yeah. his own morality. What's the point, Chief? You're just gonna yeah. let him back out and he's gonna cut another guy in line tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, when does it end? I, I, I'm brooding. Yeah, I, I spend a lot of time looking over the city and, and brooding existentially <laughs> about my existence. I'm basically Rorschach. <laughs> Anyway, so Man, I got out. sees like a couple arguing. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking. Of him, I'm Are you just saying he's going to shoot a would-be abusive he's gonna husband couple, out the streets? He's going to no, right, shoot, he's shoot he's a mouthy bitch of a wife and save the husband the trouble. <laughs> no, he'll shoot the fucking husband. <laughs> he's at a restaurant. And he's like, yeah. Did did he tip enough? Yeah, yeah. I'll find him in the parking lot. Did right. did he tip enough? Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just call that bartender a fucking bitch? Fucking up his <laughs> gun in the bar and shit. Social justice warrior with a gun. Ugh. He's gonna get his fucking jaw broke, dude. It's just a matter of time. He's gonna get his shit took. I walked I over can't wait. and I waved at them and pointed back toward the end of the line. They left. I returned to my car. <laughs> I saw that the car in front of me before that guy was full of maskless partygoers. We're now mad Pause. at the group of maskless party. So Mersh is fully, fully a, a masker. From, he's triggered by the masklessness. I, I think you should wear a mask. It's, it's like a bullshit inconvenience. But I get it. I, I went to the park today. We forgot our mask. I just, I just didn't give a he's fuck. He's also in Florida. Florida. Yeah, they were in a car. Florida is fucking not, car. He's in Florida yeah. and they're not under lockdown. Yeah, and they're, 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 the only reason why I wear a mask is the only reason why I wear a mask is so I can get my groceries. I think masks. The, I'm tired of mask world, but think, Mersh was staunchly anti-mask. Uh, why does he yeah. care about maskless partygoers now? You think he went he up there? Him, you think he went up there and quoted Biden? It was like, yeah, it's simple. You get the vaccine or you get a mask. Yeah, can I see some IDs? Right. <laughs> This version of of uh, Philip Wave Mersh has a mask hanging around his ears. There <laughs> goes. <laughs> fucking so hall I went monitor. Back over to my car again and pulled my pistol. phone out and began to take pictures of their plates and they took off. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Handle what a that. Karen. Whoa! They couldn't even take so off. Cool. They were stuck in a park. They were stuck in a fucking drive through. They couldn't even take off, bro. Yeah, uh, Mersh means they paid for their food in a timely <laughs> manner. And he said they, they rolled yo, their windows up and laughed at them. No they literally took off after they, they paid a spare paid change food. that they found in the dashboard, <laughs> and it was a bigger meal than Mersh got. <laughs> he's oh wait, broke. Snow brings up an interesting point. Uh, is maskless partygoers like new slang for black people, like joggers? Ooh. Is that what he was no, referring no, I to? Even I didn't even do that. The sis to catch that. Bro, do you think Mersh would huh. do that to anybody but like some white teenagers? The bar, no. Oh no, Mersh blasts gangs. Blast. Mersh is like that guy from Office Ooh. Space. He blasts fucking gangster rap and locks his door <laughs> as soon as a black guy walks by. <laughs> like I guarantee I, you. I could imagine know, right? a bunch of uh, black people in the car and then Mersh is not doing anything. Case. Uh, and this is all like a story in his head, like we were saying. Yeah, and then he got some pussy afterwards. Kids, if he did walk up to the car. From our hot By dude. the way, n nobody nobody drove off scared of Mersh at McDonald's. <laughs> Imagine in his story. In his story, he, he got laughed at twice. They they started Hold busting on. out. Hold on, David. Hold on, we're getting there. Um, 
But Mersh gets out in his blazer with his gut hanging out. Or maybe it, this is like casual Mersh. He's got on like sweatpants and a Revenge of the Sis t-shirt with like mustard stains on it. He waddles over there <laughs> with his hair in like a uh, pulled back into a ponytail, bald in a motherfucker. Like, hey, uh, hey guys, hey guys. See the line back trigger. there? And what did he want them to do? Did he want them to pull out, circle around, let two cars pass, and then get back into the line? Is that is that the reality he exists in? Okay, picture a fucking car full of thugs, right? Mersh has the like, he has the appearance of a fucking Walmart dad, and that's the <laughs> guy that's gonna come up to the car thugs and be like, "Hey guys, back at the line," and they're not gonna fuck. They're just gonna. They don't even know he has a gun. They're just gonna listen to him and go to the back of the line. They're like, no, we better watch out for this guy. Essay, Paul Giamatti tripping, yo. He tripping, Essay, yo. Go get some wine, homie. Sideways. I wish he would have videotaped it, but it's probably a lie. Yeah, Barry, that's pretty badass. I I wonder if the story you told on Nightwave lines up with your Twitter figures. Uh, uh, Let's find out. So last night, right, my uh, producer tweeted something on my behalf. Uh, regarding an incident at McDonald's. Producer? Everyone's doing this bit now where they have fake managers and producers. I, I never saw that before. So his producer is 18 gay, 18 gay, 18 K Adam Goldman, who has blocked both me and Alan Powell. Mersh is having a block party. Shout out to Alan Powell. I'm going to be showing a lot of his footage with a little bit of pictures thrown up. Uh, look at his name there. I think I think it's A L L percentage sign N Powell, but Alan Powell is the truth. He he does the real work, just like uh, Plant Man and Australian Ellis. Let's hear. Yeah, he's good. Mersh's rendition of how this shit went down, down, homie. Um, so people aren't confused. Um, it wasn't a bad situation. All right, here's what happened last night. So I, was, I went to McDonald's. Walking it back. I was starving. <laughs> so I go, get a fish I, fillet. I wanted to get something better to eat. Wolf it down. Everything was closed. And I was like, well, so right, hungry. Was open, and the line was insane for the drive through Oh, so, yeah. His workout regimen ruined. You guys know when the McDonald's has two <laughs> drive through windows, right? Or two drive through radio. It was things, McDonald's. Right? Um, yeah. They usually, like, people split off, right? McDonald's is where trash, else, man. Where else? It's the worst food. Start, but eventually, like, um, when where they converge is where the line starts. So you stand. The like, line. You know, like, usually one person sits looking at either one. And when one of them moves forward is where you go. And then somebody gets behind He you. sounds so like, nebbishy like, and Jewish. You know, there isn't supposed to <laughs> just be two lines at the McDonald's. So... So last night I go to McDonald's. So McDonald's has rules, and you gotta follow the rules, or there's chaos. You you have to follow the rules and clean your room. Otherwise, if it's not organized, it's chaos. So see, Ian, you see how Merch just took a minute and a half to explain to his audience what a drive-through at McDonald's is like. That's an how? example Nobody of something that. you don't have to do. How you don't fucking set that up? How fucking dumb is his audience? That they're like, oh, Mersh, you go to drive throughs I can't afford drive through McDonald's. What? What are you, a millionaire? <laughs> yeah, stop humble bragging, man. Shit. <laughs> Him and his $300. I thought you guy. Ubered all your food. Yeah. Him and his $600 Beamer and his fucking McDonald's and his gun. Fuck, Mersh, come on, man. Someone's got to work for him. He got out of his boomer to check these young thugs. <laughs> And it's a bad line. It's yeah, that's me back there in the boomer. Each, each, the um, beamer. <laughs> speaker has BMW. two cars. Boomer. I liked it when he said it was one, a boomer. And then one behind them, and then one, and then one behind them. And then those came together where one guy, it was a black dude. This black dude was chilling, and, um, I don't understand. It was him next. Can, can you draw a chart of how, so two become one, but but there's two <laughs> But then it become one. But but I don't understand much. It, it two become a one. And he had to mention the black guy. Like it's really important. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, he's, well, he's, you know, I mean, he's trying to paint a picture of how scary the situation would have been had he not been carrying his firearm. He didn't go. Normally, he he's wouldn't have felt that, that brave. He's trying, no, he's trying to say that him and the black guy made eye contact and were both like, what the fuck? And then, like, Merch was like, I got this, bro. Yeah, uh, okay, so, so there's the McDonald's next to my penthouse. But, you, you know, the, the block gets hot quick. OK, so so it's like the McDonald's is like ghetto, like the rich people don't eat there. But, you know, I'm a real one. So I, I still slum it. <laughs> so it's, it's like even though I'm in the penthouse, the pen crack house, <laughs> I, I still slum it and go down to the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm still one of the people. Nothing. He's saying he's I have I get along with black people, basically. Like I have black friends. Or oh, David. I don't know. David. I, uh, I don't have any black I, friends. I, I, I would personally. like to interrupt this. Cosmic, if you're around. David, I heard... Oh, wait, I have one. David, I heard when you were a child, you were bullied by a guy with cerebral palsy who not only bullied you, he fucked your bitch? Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I had to, like... I, I was really uh, traumatized by this situation. As or Cosmic said... Guy bullied you and fucked your bitch. You ran into I didn't a guy... Know he and so after I started fucking her, and then her friend and her were in a room, and I overheard her friend say, remember when he fucked that retarded guy? And I was like, no way. David, David, and <gasps> like, explain I to me. I freaked out. Explain to me. How do you get bullied by a guy with special needs? Because he was bigger you. than me until I grew up, and then, you know, I wanted to whoop his ass, but I, no, no, I didn't. No, 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 no. You tell me. What, what did he say that bullied you as a it's guy like with I'm cerebral bowling, palsy? Rex, I'm I couldn't. Oh, I right. couldn't bring chips. I couldn't bring chips outside, else he would just take them and eat them. A nigga and with cerebral palsy mean. would take your chips. Did he push? I didn't like you very much. Cake? What? Yeah, and then I got, and then I got this new girlfriend, right? And I don't know. And like they lived on the same block. Well, and I guess since you know, like benching. David, you're you're skipping ahead. I'm bigger Walk than me. I'm bigger than no, him now. no 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 David no. David was this was this art- autistic person by chance Kate Verdian? <laughs> no, his name's Little Mike. Snow in the chat is asking. Tell me how no. did Little Mike bully you, and then we'll get to him fucking your bitch. He take my chips. He tried to steal. He stole my bike. What? That's very- yeah. How did a dude with cerebral palsy steal your out. bike? How did he <laughs> ride off on it? How? It, no, David, no, you no, said no, you're no, this guy. So why David, did you beat now I am. Out Are you but doing one of those there was a point in time. stories as a bit? So why did you just beat there's, him up and go, you ain't taking my bike, I'm breaking your fucking legs, faggot. Get out of the way. Because I got... His legs were broken. When I was, he had cerebral look, palsy. When I was littler, when I was littler than him, he would do that to bully me. But then when I was bigger, how do I look beating up a retarded guy? Yeah, like I'm gonna was, go to jail for that. You could have been David. like he's bullying me, I don't care. He had that coming. I had to keep it A retarded guy took your true. lunch money and push, pushed you into a locker? That that's what happened? He didn't he didn't go to my school because well, he was though. retarded. <laughs> Ian, he's got a point. They are strong. You used to work with them. Now, now, what happened after you found out he <laughs> fucked your bitch? You get nothing. I, got, you well, lose. Dude, I would punch Good. him in the face then. But I didn't find him. out. Like, I got into a fight with the girl and her girlfriend about it. I was like, uh, yeah, I overheard that you uh, fucked a, a retarded guy, uh, Mike. <laughs> and she's like, and, like, I had been fucking her for, like, three weeks. I really liked her and shit. She had good pussy and shit. And I was kind of like, maybe I shouldn't start a fight because I'm not going to have no pussy tonight. But then I was like, you know what? I got to bring this shit up. So what I did was, I'm like, fuck this bitch. Her girlfriend came in the kitchen, right? And I started trying to, like, get some. I was hitting on her girlfriend. And I'm, and I don't even want to tell the story. It's embarrassing. Good. Anyway, uh, they, they both, I, I called her out on it. And they both got in my face and were trying to fight me. And I, like, kicked them out of my house. Damn and I was it. like, fuck you, bitch. You fuck retarded guys. And she's like, you're retarded. And I'm like, did she think I was retarded? Does she only fuck retarded guys? Oh, is David, she retarded? Did, 
No oh, shit, David. Did Wait, the re- did the retarded <laughs> guy have a bigger dick? I think the bitch only. I think the bitch might only fuck with retarded guys. I was, I was like, nah, she didn't think I was retarded. If she so did, maybe. She might, talking about retarded, you retarded. That's right. You got bullied by I a retarded. I felt dirty. Kid. I felt dirty. And one he, time I was with her, and little Mike was like kind of like outside the front of his house, and he like came up to us and like looked her in her eyes, but I thought he was just trying to like look at my girl and shit. Come to find out, he fucked her, and that's why he was acting weird. I was like, oh, that's why he was acting like that. I bet you wrote her notes like, "Baby, you're the sun and the moon. I'll never love no, anyone as much out. as I love than you." I told that bitch get out of my house. I'm not fucking with no girl. Fucking with retarded Mike. Fuck you. I tried to fuck your friend and oh, your friend that's, got mad. That's and... petty. Didn't you see Chase and Amy? You got to get past that. Honestly, homie. that's that's ego. Honestly, I like I grabbed her friend by the waist and like pulled her close to me, and shit, it was crazy, bro. Did you punch her? Did you the <laughs> in the forehead? I literally kissed her best friend in my kitchen, and her friend was like, just walked off. Like I don't. We were real drunk, and then she was like, took her girl, and they were like, hey, we're gonna leave. Because I guess she felt uncomfortable. I don't know. And they're like, you know what? Fuck you guys. Get the fuck out of my house. You fucking little Mike. I don't want shit to do with you, bitch. And then they got all up in my face like they wanted a box and shit. I'm like, bitch, I'll knock both of you out. Get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, you fucking right. re- retarded Mike. Fucking, bitch. I, I don't she's like, respect She's like, you're retarded. This is what happens res- when you fuck retards. I'm I like, who the fuck does it? I can't believe this shit, man. So I went back I in my house re- and they had to like drink like up. four beers. Shut up. I don't respect, the, I don't thing, respect a bitch unless she can knock me out. Unless a bitch can fight me, I don't respect her. She deserves that I'll retarded sling, dick. I was about to sling them bitches all over the alley, bro. David, do you think that the retarded guy slings better dick than you? I don't think so. I mean, he I was shaking. Like think, I, would like, I would like to think no. His dick vibrates. But you know, not I don't know right. what the truth is because I don't want to find out. I don't know, bro. I didn't ask. I don't give a fuck. It's because you got Retarded a dick. dick. That's crazy. You got a baby dick. That don't sounds ask like you're the answers to. Good one, David. Sounds, Good like, one. sounds like you're projecting, sir. Listen, I got a baby you, dick, but I'll Ian, fuck you better Ian, than a retarded Ian, kid. Ian you, Ian, you look like you got a baby dick. I, my dick I is my... a baby's arm. I'd take my micro P and make that bitch forget about <laughs> retarded people. But you were like insecure. You're like, oh shit. He, he has a I K. wasn't. I wasn't you broke insecure. Because the, bitch, Ian, the retarded nice. kid had better dick. He no. didn't want to catch the tournament. No. Okay. No, nice. but look, I was look, I was upset, yes, but then like she her friend was sexy as hell. Her friend was named Martina. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this opportunity no, since I don't no, really weren't. give a fuck. Nope. Yeah. Were, you, were you worried about contracting Torah? That he was Jewish and me. that you you might become Jewish to get the pussy? Or is that what you were worried about? I'm still trying. I'm still, I still fuck, would fuck her friend, bro. I'm going to fuck her friend. You're married to an Asian. <laughs> I, bought, I bought my girlfriend for a television. It's a problem. You got a wife now. Who's Asian? It's a problem. Well, thank you, David, for sharing your Me Too story with us. <laughs> About how you got caught by Michael J. Fox. This, doesn't, this, this is not my fault in any way. I just, you know. Yeah, David, I, I you got your pussy you taken not? by a retarded kid. That's no, fucking no, pathetic. No, no, no. You're happen. not a villain in this story. It's okay. No, I, just a I'm like the hero. No, you're no, not. not. A retarded kid no. fucked your bitch better with his retarded dick. No, a fucking retarded kid fucked her before I know her, bro. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's what she said. She said, mm, uh, hit me with that retarded dick. It's so big. Oh, God, I got this retarded Irish guy who's trying to fuck me, but he got a little dick. Oh, please give me that retarded dick. Oh, it's so big. Oh, me love you a long time. You got insecure yeah, I mean, and left a bitch. I didn't leave her. I just told her I knew, and she got all fucking mad and shit. Then she tried to act like she, her and her friend were going to fight me or something. Mm-hmm. See, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in Get no it. way embarrassed, bro. You should have locked that down. 
Walk through the worst, that man. Down. Do you sometimes Walk find yourself wishing you had a small purple <laughs> pistol that you could have used in that situation, David? A small what? A down, purple homie. pistol, maybe a pink pistol. And that SX, might fit in like well, thank God he didn't. purse. <laughs> right. This <laughs> is He'd still be in jail. I, Thank God he didn't have Mercy's fucking house. Desert Eagle. That retarded yeah, I, kid is still out there <laughs> fucking bitches and cutting in line at McDonald's. Cucking. <laughs> and that kid grew guy. up to be Potato Boy. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get ahead. back to Mercy. Yeah. Well, let's move on, man. I want to rewrite my, you know, Thanks life. for sharing, David. And then fucking like cuck. A couple cars behind us. You're welcome, bro. Bad. It was that backed up, and everybody you was bitch. following the rules. Ian trying oh, to get some under. Oh, they're following the rules. And then under, after the clock up expired, up. why? Why is Mersh a hall monitor? Who the why? The party, guys. I Mersh... thought he was the rebel from the underground, here to save us all. Mersh is like the or... TA at, in in school. He just. He just w- can't wait to tell you that you're coloring outside the lines. <laughs> I mean, another edible. Housebuster. Hosty. You want to come defend Good. Tony Hinchcliffe? Hell yeah. All right, guys. Mersh is going to kill everyone at McDonald's. Hell yeah. Just shoot like around the line. Come right in and pull right. Just wedge their car in. At the second speaker, right behind one of the, the the second car, right, and I'm like, and like everyone's just kind of looking around, and I'm like, don't let, don't let it bother you. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where I'm like, just don't let it bother you. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't. There is something about I had my not piece on. Worry about it as much as you normally used to. You know, what I mean, like there is there is a certain element of that where you go. Normally, I I don't want to start a whole thing, but yeah, yeah. I, I've I I've been like doing mind space. I've I've been meditating, so I I was like, I got to go to my quiet place. <laughs> oh God, spiritual merge is coming one day. Breaking the rules. <laughs> I'm gonna be hooking up with off. Cosmic, doing thinking, tarot cards. I was sitting there finally. <laughs> <Billion. and> like, <laughs> yeah. Click, and I get out of the car. <laughs> I walk over, and I walk, and I mean, I have to walk past my car, past the the, the guy's car next to my car, in front of me, whatever. The, the guy who was next, this young black guy, right? <laughs> I can walk past him. He opens his car door and looks at me, and he's like. Oh, you gonna say something? And I'm like, yeah. I mean, come on, dude. And he's like, okay. So he's standing. So now there's another black guy standing there, like, okay. And I walk out and I walk up to the window and I'm like, excuse me. And I was trying to be nice about it, right? It was just these young maskless party goers, and they're like, you know, they give me one of these like. Three D oh. Mersh is capping everyone right go. now. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So so I I walk past the Hoover Crip, and and he's like, yeah, dog, Crip, Crip. And, and then I'm like, all right, let, let's say something, all right? These maskless party goers putting all of our lives at risk. <laughs> you cut that gentleman. Yeah, and they were in, in a car. You're, um, you, he's next. See, he's next, and then I'm after him. If you notice, you cut. You should go to the back of the line. It's only fair, right? And of course, they're just like, they just look at me and they all start laughing. I'm like, okay. Um, he got laughed at his face. That's all. I was just like, "Sir, you can't." Yeah, yeah pause. Be on the pause. line, <laughs> Mersh. <laughs> Mersh, you went to audit some maskless hoodlums, and they all just laughed at you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Get the fuck out of here! This is a fake story, though, because how do you go back in line? You can't. It's yeah. It's literally fundamentally wrong. Is he supposed to he circle around? He stopped his car. And he interrupted the flow of the fucking drive-thru. All of this is nonsense. He yeah, stopped his so. car so he can go lecture those people. <laughs> right. And those people are just trying to pay for their food because they've already gone into the center lane. It's so McDonald's. You got to wait so an extra two minutes. He's keeping the people, the hoodlums, from paying for their food by sitting there <laughs> accosting them at the window. Who admits <laughs> that a car full of people laughed at you? I know. It's such a cool story. <laughs> How is this merch with a gun saga going to end up, though? Like, honestly, is, is he going to be a Zimmer now? Suicide? Is he going to be 
He is going to be in jail <laughs> for shooting someone. Side. He's in Florida. He thinks he yeah. can stand his ground. He will go to He's, prison for killing. You for think it's going to be a black guy? Are we going to have Mersh when clips circulating on CNN? Oh and Fox my News? god! Can oh, you imagine, imagine how the stock of the LLC will rise when that happens? Imagine <laughs> if Mersh is the next Z- Zimmerman. <laughs> Like sees a kid stealing Skittles is like yeah I'm not, I can't stand for this. I, I couldn't let it hey slide. get back here. Uh-huh. It's on the phone with nine one one. Yeah, we get the audio recording for the show. <laughs> He's got a hoodie. Yeah, I'm a, I'm following this guy. He just you don't need to McDonald's follow him. But the operator's gonna tell him to. <laughs> The, the, the operator's gonna tell yeah, him to fucking him. keep following him because he's seen ROTC. <laughs> like, yeah, just keep following that kid. Oh, this is Mer- Oh, yeah. <laughs> keep getting, let's get, track him I down. Can tell, I can tell him. Well, yeah. Yeah. Is gonna be Thank you for your show. service, Mersh. Hey, what cop fan? is gonna be watching that show? Zero. None. <laughs> Good point, I'm, Kenny. I'm kind of famous with law enforcement. Yeah, I'm pretty big in the mm-hmm. Biden administration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're cutting, and it's being nice about it. And then they all started laughing, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so then I'm like, I'm walking away. What I'm you gonna do, gonna Karen? Do I'm thinking they're gonna leave already. I look back, and they're literally just laughing at me. I'm like, okay. They're pointing and laughing. <laughs> ah, like oh, shut up, you fat bald piece of shit. Fuck you. And then I pulled out my gun. First in the closet, <laughs> but it's in the drive thru <laughs> Trapped in the drive thru <laughs> I think I feel a sequel to my last video coming out. <laughs> I only got my phone. I want people to be, you know, whatever. Uh, I grabbed my phone. Well, pause. Pause. We saw his, his tweets where he said, you feel more bold. When you have your strap on you, but he only had his phone. So I went to my car and I got my. I only got my phone. I want people to be, you know, whatever. Uh, I grabbed my phone and walked over, and I was just like, "I've had it." And I pulled my phone out, walked He's towards the car, aimed my phone at the back of their car. Then I pulled out my was, phone. And I don't know what these dudes were into or what you... they were up to, but they. I hate the you fucking bitch. I had a similar situation <laughs> with an old man in a handicapped spot like fucking twelve years ago, where a fucking an old man fucking took a picture of my license plate and he stood behind my fucking car and wouldn't let me leave until parking enforcement got there. So I put my car in reverse and I slowly backed out, dragging this old man, <laughs> right? And I left. But Go hug a tree, you fucking loser. You're out fucking enforcing traffic with your gun now because all now you got balls to fucking write fucking drive through wrongs, you fucking this, loser. This is how you know all of his like strip club and like uh, um whatever security manager stories are all fake too, because this would never happen. And if it did happen, he was so excited to tell everyone about it. So none of the right. stuff that's ever happened allegedly, you never yeah, got I- any fights. Never I'm got any hood. shit took. I smack a bitch. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mersh is growing into his appearance. He's becoming an old fucking no testosterone man. Like, he's going to be that guy that's peeking through his blinds to see if you got a permit for the fence you're building. He's going to call the city. He's going to be that fucking boomer that, <laughs> uh, yeah, his dick stopped working. So now he's looking out the window, seeing what the neighbors are up to. Listen, what a bitch. Some, someone cut you off at McDonald's. It's like maybe a minute, less than that. It's McDonald's. Oh, it, the the drive-through drive through is filtering through. Who gives a fuck? Uh, this has to be stopped. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> this yeah. this is high crime. It was, and I don't know what these dudes were into or what they were up to, but they they, they were some uh, Palestinians. So yeah, I wasn't yeah. trying to be all. Cr- I was just people were like, oh, Mersh, Mersh is saying he's out there going crazy with a gun, and I'm like, no, I wasn't. Nobody even saw anything. I just was willing to take somebody's photo and I was willing All right, to like... pause. <laughs> I was willing to be a hero that day. <laughs> I I just was willing to run into the burning building. He t- Can we pull up? Cutting in line is not against the law. Let, let's cut but away here. My law. That's what party goers. Not allowed. I make all in- the walls around here. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, show right, that's a good point. Bellin, who is he going to send a picture of the license plate to? There is no yeah, fucking drive talk about you on my YouTube show. Everything's yeah, gonna come I, out. I work for right. the feds. I'm gonna uh, dox I'll your license. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So let's pull up Plant Man in show prep. We have Mersh gun posting. Let's go through his gun posting before we get back to the story. I, I wish I had like a, a Microsoft Sam that sounded like Mersh. Yeah. We just feed his everything into. Yeah, I, uh, I still have a lot of improving to do. But I just went to the range again and my shooting is getting much better. Like, a lot better. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys, watch out. Dead this is Black Mersh. Widow. That's a good one, Dylan. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Glad you <laughs> liked it. <laughs> <laughs> good video plan, man. Simple, can, to the point. Can you go to the Alan Powell video, Mersh has a boo-boo? I got it now, we boo-boo at the range. <laughs> this is how I got it. This is how I was taught to hold the gun. So you're seeing, oh. pause. <laughs> he has his thumb where, like, I don't know what that part of the gun is called, but it snaps back. And, and Mersh pinched his little thumb Widow Fum firing the gun. He's getting a lot better. He hasn't had a boo boo since the third time at the range. He didn't get any boo boos firing his little water pistol. He had a band aid wrapped around his finger and he posted it to Twitter. <laughs> what was that Tom Cruise movie about Ryan? Uh, Old Brother Ryan, Ryan Long. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Long, Long the war vet. <laughs> Marsh is acting like he got capped on the on the shores of normandy like yeah you know yeah you know what it's like being a gun owner you know you get boo-boos on your thumb boo-boo you got a boo-boo merch what are you a fucking woman okay, let's see how this exciting uh confrontation ends hopefully not with bloodshed you take somebody's <laughs> photo and i was willing to the like, mcdonald's massacre again i know it i know it seems I know it seems unreasonable to just get into a whole thing about it. <laughs> yes, it does. But, it, but, yes. he, he, but he cut the line. But <laughs> what, Mersh? You know what I mean? like, but is what? what? He cut, he no cut the line. <laughs> you fucking faggot. Yeah, no cutsies at McDonald's. <laughs> all right, I, I bust caps, all right? I... I'm the guy that would normally not talk to people that cut me in line until I get a concealed carry permit. Uh, yeah, fuck with the wrong one today. <laughs> cut the line. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair to the men, the gentleman in front of him. It wasn't fair to me. It wasn't fair to all the very hardworking people behind us. Oh, all... poor Mersh. Oh, hard work. Has a boo boo. No. Has to wait for his McDouble. <laughs> but it was funny. Yeah, That's boss. What, I was gonna say. That, that was... what what do you think Mersh got from McDonald's? Uh, first, I... I never heard in this story the part where the kids pe- pulled off in fear of Mersh and everyone <laughs> cheered. <laughs> yeah, Mersh! <laughs> I'm a fan. I listen to Revenge of the Sith. I I think he loaded up on the dollar menu or the dollar like thirty nine menu. It was like, yeah, I'd I'd like. 30 chicken piece <laughs> and and a fish sandwich like Rogan and uh, <laughs> some fries. This Get can't be true. Snow is I, in chat is saying that Mersh also said he rang up McDonald's to complain about his nuggets. What does that accomplish? That, is, that didn't. There's no way. Not even Mersh is so petty. You complained about your nuggets? They weren't yeah, crispy These nuggets enough? are cold. Um, I'm not coming back, but uh, I just want you to know. Bill Maher would say McDonald's doesn't serve real meat. This is yoga mats chopped up into McNugget form. This, every this re- is not real chicken. Merch. Every McDonald's receipt has a survey number that you can put in on the website and complain about that very thing. But Merch wanted it to be personal. Did you he notice? He wanted nothing to be done about it. He just wanted to hurt someone's feelings. Has anybody noticed that McDonald's, Burger King, and Mariano's grocery store? Now, all offer the exact same chicken sandwich that Popeyes went viral with. I like that Ian mentioned like his local mom and pop's grocery store. Like we all shop there. Mariano's is white heaven, but Popeyes is still the best. They they still have the most seasoning on their delicious 
the juicy chicken breast sandwich. I've still but never Burger had King, those. they fucking they got the same sandwich. McDonald's got the same sandwich. Grocery stores got the same sandwich. It's a problem. <laughs> uh, was Mersh there to get the Justice League toys for his fucking Zack Snyder collection? Yeah, I, I got all the DC action figure. I, I, I got too many Wonder Woman. You got any Catwoman's back there? You, you guys can <laughs> tell Ian recently watched the Justice League movie. I go to Burger Queen, Burger King quite frequently. It's the only Mersh way I get my kids to eat Burger food. Queen. He does. <laughs> yeah. I'm basically the Burger Queen. I want the veggie sandwich. It, it's better for the environment than Dogecoin. <laughs> yeah, that's also. <laughs> I want to point out, Mersh hates Dogecoin, so invest in it for no other reason than Mersh hates it. You know, Mersh could have had like good food delivered to his house by Uber, but he is driving to McDonald's to hit that dollar menu because his cryptocurrency is dog shit. Because he didn't, he didn't believe in the Doge. We also recently bought a firearm, and you know how expensive those can be. It came free with his rape whistle. <laughs> Mersh's gun came free with his vaccine. What I like <laughs> is, like, Rex came in here as the biggest Royce to 5 9 slash Mersh supporter, and the gun posting alone has caused Rex to be like, you know what? I'm fucking done with Mersh. Uh, 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 Jacktooth stalkers of mine that that literally call the cops on me and can't afford right, adult pause. bracelets. Um, those. I think that's a shot at Alan Powell, but it I, it's the Kiwi Farms guys that like they legitimately want to like ruin Mersh's life. And to the Kiwi Farms guys, I want to say this. I respect you guys. I say this respectfully. We like Mersh exactly where he's at. We can't make fun of him if he's banned from YouTube. Let him make his thousands of dollars. Let him make his ad revenue. Don't quit demonetizing Mersh. Quit banning Mersh. Let him live. We we need him to be where he is or else we can't milk this low cow. I say this as a friend. Please. Don't hate me for this. We need him where he is. In the drive-thru. Fighting maskless vigilantes. And then he pulled out his gun. <laughs> Those guys uh, have been trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. When uh, no, nothing, I there was nothing done. I was only pointing out the fact that there is something about there is just something about having that safety device with you. All right, pause. <laughs> this is a picture of his safety device. Now, Merch said it's he also did a not picture. Have his... It's sorry, but it's also a picture of him demonstrating how he holds the gun in the firing range. <laughs> you see, two fingers takes up the entire trigger or the entire handle. <laughs> He he says he didn't have his strap on him, but now he's saying how bold it makes you, you know, just to have your little pea shooter on you. You could tie that to a string and actually keep it in the sleeve of your t-shirt, of like your long sleeve t-shirt. It's the kind of gun they had in the movie Maverick, where it's like he flips his wrist in a fucking, like, you remember those guns that shoot a boxing glove at you? <laughs> He's got one of those on his wrist that pulls the gun out. If Mersh pulled this gun chat, on me, man. I wouldn't be able to stop laughing at him. I would slap it out of his hand <laughs> and then proceed to beat the dog shit out of him and then <laughs> play with his gun as if it were a toy. Look at this little thing I picked up. Oh, 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 oh. I would respect Mersh more if he was like holding the gun sideways at the camera trying to be like a gangster. Then the 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 light ready to drop the gun grip he's got on it. Mersh, you literally cannot fit three fingers on the handle of that gun. It is what? Your your middle finger and what's the finger after your middle finger? No, it's ring it's, finger. Ian, it's normal to hold a gun 
as if you're <laughs> making <laughs> a <laughs> finger <laughs> gun. You know what I mean? Like that's he's, that's how it works. He's sticking his pinky out like Scud the disposable assassin. If you look at like his what, face versus the reference. size of the gun, <laughs> his nose is bigger than the gun. His beard, his mustache. His nose, his, his possibly Hasidic nose, nose is, in fact, bigger than the gun. He can only Yeah, it looks fix... like somebody put a, a Lego man gun into a G.I. Joe's hand. It's two <laughs> it fat fingers. That's right. It's, it's like you took hey, you Kevin. took a gun from Legos and gave it to a G.I. Joe action figure. It doesn't even fit the hand that's holding it. <laughs> that makes you go. You know what? Excuse oh. me. That's not fair. <laughs> I don't know why. Pause. That, that that's the kind of gun that the retard who fucked David Walsh's bitch kept in his <laughs> his fanny pack. <laughs> hey, that's the guy he shot David Walsh's ego with. No, do fuck with me. I'm flap. <laughs> I'm flap, nigga. Uh. Oh, my dick is fucking huge. Than and yours. this is bigger than your dick, and my dick is bigger than this, and I fucked your bitch. Uh. Your it's bitch just, is retarded, a by the way. There's a level of confidence yeah. that comes with it. Excuse me, that's against the rules. Mer- <laughs> All right, pause. Rex. What's up? Mersh just said, when you're strapped, there's a certain level of confidence that comes with it. Excuse me, that's against the, I'm Lisa Simpson, that's against the rules. Is this your leader, the rebel <laughs> from the underground? This guy, uh, he's like he's the antithesis of what a mature adult gun owner would be. Aren't you supposed to be stoic, never bring it up, never talk about these things? He's like a giddy little faggot. I got a gun and now <laughs> I got balls to correct wrongs out in public. Fuck is wrong with you? Don't cut in line. No littering. Hey, come back here. Yeah. That was the yellow light. No jaywalking. Yeah, and he's I'll behaving like steps. a Karen. <laughs> oh, shit. He's behaving like a Karen. He's being Mersh, a Karen. You know, I thought you, he hated Karens. You belong on Jimmer Nam's channel, Mersh. You belong in a yeah. Karen video. Yeah, you're being a Karen. Imagine so, if, uh, Car- that'd be if Karens were strapped. That bag of Jimmer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Please, please do something for me. Please do something to me. So what, Mary? So you can bust I wish a cap? motherfucker it's... would. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> can you imagine? Mersh runs to his car and grabs a sticky note so he can hold a piece of paper in one hand. He's going to rub it there and be like, taser, 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 and unload his pea gun into <sighs> a fucking uh, driver. <laughs> you think if if he shot his gun at a car with the windows rolled up, you think it would penetrate the windows? You think <laughs> it would just indent and like a like a pebble does that gets shot up from a tire. One right. thing is is like Mersh, if you pulled your phone out on these dudes, why did you go to photo and not video? If you're so gangster, if you're Jitsu you get G unit beef. So you a wankster, so you never pop nothing. That's pink slime right there that he's spitting at you, Mers. Are you gonna let him do that? Slime. It's just like did he, was- did he say his intent with taking the picture of the license plate? Did he say where he was gonna go with that? Yeah, what is what is your game plan? I shaming you on <laughs> Facebook. He's gonna go from complaining right. oh, yeah. about Ubers to like, hey, National Traffic Guard. Hey, Florida ca- Traffic Guard. Uh, I caught these guys slipping at a McDonald's drive through yeah, yeah, look at the plate. Yeah, I got them. I got them. Yeah. Embarrassing. This is not things he should talk about. These are like, this is not a moment he should be in, but if he ends up in this moment, this is not something he should disclose to his audience. He should be you know rubbing I mean? this is his not nose some... right before night Dude. wave, stressed, like, oh, God damn, I'm such an ass. Oh, imagine if I, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> what if someone filmed me doing that? Thank God. I'm just not right. going to say anything. Like, this is what, like, boomer senility Kumia should be doing 
where it's like, oh, he's 60. He's losing his mind. That's why he posted that. This isn't what 38-year-old Mersh should be bragging about, both on Twitter and in his live stream. If Mersh buys a Polaroid camera, we know where he's headed. <laughs> Good day, douche. Good day, douche. I'm just waiting to see Mersh like wearing a blazer one day doing Nightwave, and he just casually like opens one side of the blazer to reveal some suspender holsters, and he's got his little gun like sticking <laughs> right. out of. Yeah, the guy open sees carry. him pull open the jacket, and then he squints to try to say, "What is that? Is that a gun?" <laughs> 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 <Yes>. <laughs> Do you have gun holsters and mini? <laughs> it's got <laughs> buttons that are bigger than it. All right. Well, I think Mersh has a gun. <laughs> and I think he got it for Pot Awful. So she's got a gun. That's the most pathetic thing is that, like, Rex will say that Jesse really got into Mersh's skin. And it's like, Mersh, mm-hmm. how fucked are you that Jesse got to you? Like, bruh, all the shit you've been through, Ooh. Kiwi Farms, Philip Wave, Alan Powell, Plant Man, r slash Mersh, Jesse is what shook you? Ew, what like Karen it. are you? Mersh could really get to Jesse if Mersh just ignored his puppet show completely, but then did like a huge segment on Kenny's puppet show about him. <laughs> oh. Can't even, can't even get clout from making fun of Mersh anymore. Yeah, so, so I I want to show you this. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. This is long brain TV. <laughs> yeah. All right. So so this segment is about how Jesse steals. <laughs> He's copying. Yeah, this is forever going to go down as a mystery as to why Mersh thought that he couldn't handle Pot Awful. Like, I it's don't get pathetic. it. It is really. Is. Oh yeah, Pot Awful killed it. Killed his self esteem. Like, he what didn't even want to fucking yes. clap back at anything. Cars in the house. What up? Killer Cause, we had David here. We were asking him about, you know, a retarded dude cuffing his bitch. You dipped out, homie. I got locked up and trapped up and had to go and come back. I got mad when I was coming back. I was listening. There's so much I want to scream about with the merch thing. Can I just Cosmic. go over the merch? Hold the on, merch, got, like, one, messed up. I got one joke. I just wanted to say Cosmic was pretending to be retarded and was fucking David Walsh's bitch. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Cos- Cosmic ran in yeah. some some maskless hoodlums out of McDonald's and had to go he, Then, he, then he, <laughs> said, he set David Walsh's backyard shack on fire and ran back to the show. <laughs> I love Casey. Burger. <laughs> I got the paper my taking bitch. selfies. <laughs> Can we? I'm sorry. I know we're in the middle of something else. I'm sure, but Mersh, guys, Mersh has no friends. Is that we? Like nobody is helping him out. Like no gun owner. You like see how gun, he most, holds the gun. Yeah, most. Well, that was okay. So that's the first issue, and I'm not joking about. It. I can try to call up my friend Kay and get him to tell the story. I have had friends. He okay. So what happened is the slide slid back, and then what happens when the slide slides back? It recoils, obviously. And when it recoils, it can pull your skin back if you have, like, fat man hands and you're using a woman's gun. And, like, so nobody told him that. Mm-hmm. Second of all, so let me let's, So I guarantee you now when Mersh uses that gun, he has to purposely choke down on the, on the, on the fucking handle and on the, on the handle and shit to make sure that the slide doesn't hit him when it slides yeah, back. I, so I, is, gonna be, is nope. that going to be good in, like, a, an emergency situation? Say someone broke in your house and you had to bang it real fast. Is that going to be good? So that's the first problem is that nobody told him <laughs> that it's – Fat man hands are it's too just gonna big be for two this people gun. saying, "Ow, the guy that got shot and merged for stuff." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, like, he, I feel like he would drop his gun. I feel like it would, he would, he would get and, his hand, hand meat stuck and, and drop it. Second of all, any gun owner should tell Mersh like the the McDonald's situation. Like all Mersh did was add a gun into that situation. He didn't make it any safer. He potentially, because if those, what if those three Pat Mattis's party goers would have got out of the car and said, "What white boy?" Start beating him up. Mersh would have ran back to his God, car. Me. He would have pulled out his banger and all because of what, guys? Because someone skipped in line at McDonald's. <laughs> White privilege. You the- are, you are <laughs> cool. no, I'm conflicted. No- I'm, I'm a bit conflicted if it's what real or it? not. Because, like, who would include the, the laughing part? Like, they were all laughing at me. You, <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys don't understand. That sounds real. They're- Hold on. You don't understand. Their sneezes were more deadly than his firearm. All right. They could have coughed COVID all over him. 
Yeah, but you guys aren't even giving him hey, credit. You guys... Like, Mersh is so skilled with that firearm. He doesn't even yeah. have to wrap no. his thumb around the handle. No. He can just hold you it guys are, his you three guys are also... fingers. Let me tell y'all what's going to happen. You guys Mersh are also is... missing the point where Mer... yeah. before Mersh had a gun, he just all he could do is sheepishly witness these injustices in the world, and now... He has the confidence to fucking correct them. <laughs> you, I think you Mercy know, doing a great job. You have no idea how many times I stood in line helpless at a McDonald's. And people <laughs> thought, yeah, finally, justice will be served. <laughs> That's right. Does he? He realizes, like what Rex said, you're supposed to be stoic about your firearm. He realizes someone's life could have got lost because he decided to get out and yell about a, yeah. a, a, a cutting a spot. In, in McDonald's, like it, and yeah, he has he no Republic, he he has no Republican like right wing friends to be like, hey, stupid, what are you doing? This is like everything. If he went right. and told his instructor what happened, if he went and told that cute story to his instructor, his instructor would fucking like yell at him and be like, you are exactly what own gun owners aren't supposed to be doing. It's the same thing I yelled at that kid Cluck Norris about. Like you guys are these right wings. You're not gonna take our Second Amendment away from us. And then you go out into the world and you do goofy shit goofy shit that guess what if those past patent if those massless party goers got out and beat your ass and you would have shot one of them and killed one of them that gives aoc people like aoc like the ammunition to be like see if somebody's life in america was lost because of a mcchicken parking spot you know what i'm saying like that's like you mm. are a part of the problem now merch you and then you telling this gay yeah, story is a part of the problem it's a part of the problem like you're not supposed to act like this i know like, female Jesus. I know female gun owners that behave better than that. I know female gun owners that are more respectable and silent about yeah. their shit. Grew up yeah, yeah, going yeah. to the ring with their fathers. Wrap, Rex, do they make sure to wrap their thumb around the handle of the gun <laughs> when they use it? <laughs> no. Thumb that's bigger than the gun. No. You, they went you know, to the range with their father and knew how to shoot a gun. Like they were well versed in shooting guns, fucking b before they were legal, legally adults. You know what I mean? Like fucking, these are people that were raised with guns that behave better and more mature as a gun owner than Mersh after yeah, two weeks of, of owning a he, purse gun. But but of course he cut his hand open. Yeah, because it's a it's a purse gun, Rex. This is meant to be with the ninety five pound. You're like a ninety five pound like fucking five foot four chick in her purse and that's what's crazy is like merch doesn't get it like one of the things about being big and fat is you get to carry bigger guns do you realize like let's say carrying a desert which is not a good carry gun but do you realize there's a difference between like merch carrying it i'm carrying it and my 95 pound year old like my 95 pound fucking ex-girlfriend carry one like it, it's it, clearly it's going to be more cumbersome to some parties than other parties so why as merch as a fat guy why did he get a purse gun, a gun that is supposed to be held by a small little woman? It, none of this is making, and none of his friends helped him. He has no gun friends, guys. He has no gun friends to he's warn him about the small guns. No, no, no guy friends. He's done. No, he's he's, he's he, done no research into the lifestyle that he wants to portray himself as living. Here, he's done no research. He, he just bought the first Anthony gun he could Julio. afford, he so he can carry one. About guns. He just wants to be like his hero, Nothing. the vampire. I guess. I fucking guess, dude. It's just weird. He should have brought a purse while buying that gun. That's right. If you're going to own a gun, you got to be like Hank Hill about it, like from King of the Hill. That's how serious and like, oh, watch out. You never point about anything you don't want to lose, son. Keep, keep your arm, keep your hand straight. Keep the, Pretend there's a laser beam and everything can, by that laser beam can die. You know, like there's a way to look at this shit and be careful with the gun and merch. Clearly isn't following any of it, and he's just a part of the gun issue. And if there is it's not a gun issue in America to me, but if there the, the gun issue of people trying to take him away, Mersh is helping that. Fucking retard. Yeah. No guidance. Why doesn't he have guy friends? Guy, like, why isn't anybody helping him? He has nobody well, that told him the gun was not worth I, I I just want to point out. I just want to point out how much this reminds me of the Karen that remember when they were going to ransack that house and the husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's much. Yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> with like the striped black and white shirt, <laughs> her husband. <laughs> yeah, but she was standing behind her husband. Like her husband was calling the shots of that. He was standing in front of her and she was in the back just as backup. You know, where's, where's Mersh's husband? To keep him in line, <laughs> just some fucking merge oh, some dumb I woman. Just, 
I can totally picture Mersh and Royce getting into a Worski situation where Rico or Royce is like, hey, 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 hey. they're just like <laughs> just pulling the gun, pulling the gun on some people in public because over some shit they don't have to. Yes. I, yeah, I can't wait till Mersh's next outing into Miami. Like, it, when's the next fucking thing that Mersh is going to go Live, wandering yeah. around drunk by himself at? Because uh, him wandering around carrying a gun drunk out in, you know, in real life. Right. Yeah. Do you think he just like what carries the gun loose in his um pockets? <laughs> just kind of like rattles around in his, yeah. his, his pocket. That, that no. Little gun. <laughs> Plant Man says the other night, Mersh said he doesn't have friends he talks to, which means he has no real friends. Oh, uh, okay. No. Jeez. Damn, you've got us, Mersh. Right, Mersh? You should have came on and asked us. We could have told you not to yeah. buy that gun, at least. At least we'd have put you um, that step in the right direction. Like, you're a fat, big guy, Mersh. You can carry a bigger gun. You don't need a woman, a 95-pound-year-old. I don't keep you adding the word year old. A 95-pound gun. You don't need it, Mersh. Go ahead. I'm sorry. This is in rain. We'll say this. Yeah, that, there's uh, something about being strapped that makes you bolder. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh dog! It's like the wrong mentality. Was was kind of a That's fan right. of mine after that. That was that was literally the guy. As I was walking away, I just heard, "Hell yeah, fucks with you." <laughs> so literally, I, like, I just I didn't what? Really... <laughs> what the fuck? Hell what? yeah, I fucks with you. After you took a picture of his license plate like a fucking old man. Yeah, to call the to report oh, him. No. And that and that was my before, uh, yeah before when you were referring to him, like saying he probably refers to himself as a real one. I just go straight <laughs> in the back. Like, I, I fucks with you. Oh no, we got mash. Yeah, homie, I fucks with man. bureaucracy. Yeah, report him to the count council. <laughs> Biden's America. He's really, what? Yeah. He's ready to die over some Karen shit, isn't he? Yeah, and that's what it is. Oh, yeah. It's Karen shit, and Fuck I don't know the why wrong he one doesn't today. Do that. These yeah, unmasked yeah. Party goers, these unmasked partygoers ain't about this life. And I read, asked the question a little a few minutes after it happened. He said and he was talking about it, it sunk in on Rex. But I immediately, when I was listening to the story, when he said I pulled out my phone and I just took a picture of the license plate, my first question was for who? McDonald's? Are you gonna report right. them to McDonald's? Like who? <laughs> Mersh? You just it's risk. You just put yourself the... at risk, Mersh. It's going back to the police That's station. That's not even an infraction. I'm I'm gonna get them D dollar menued. All right, they're, they're not gonna be able to buy in the dollar menu anymore. Yeah, they're gonna lose Little their Apple free. Pies. They're gonna lose their mo monopoly stickers. Their monopoly stickers from the fucking you're, cups aren't gonna count anymore. You're not gonna get your mo Moderna burgers uh, acting like this, you bunch mm. of savages. <laughs> fucking <Yeah. laughs> a bunch of jungle bunnies. <laughs> yeah. Taking care of the thirteen percent. Does he go full Kumia? Do you see that coming for Mersh? Uh, I hope he, he. I hope he goes back to doing black crime statistics like Nightwave was, like two years ago. The his window rolled down. I was walking back yeah. to my car and I just said, "Hell yeah, man! I fucks with you." <laughs> I was like, "Oh man, thanks, man." Because yeah. <laughs> it uh, wasn't didn't, again. Didn't he happen. didn't cut me. He cut the guy in front of me, and then in turn cut all of us. But even the guy in front of me was like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I was talking about, he's like, yeah, yeah, man, I'll fuck with you. I was like, no problem, man. <laughs> it's just like, I'm like, and I'm like, I believe. Uh, yeah, I that's really what's made, up. Really, really yeah. muted, <laughs> Ten um, toes down. <laughs> this yeah. black guy relate to me, and I really think that he's Super crap. being very hood. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why did he just say that black guy relate that's to me? That's what is fun. <laughs> yeah, I made this black guy relate to me because they're all yeah. super calling nine one one over somebody button in a fucking uh, in a traffic like reporting taking a picture of a license plate. That's yeah, getting, Marsh, that's hard as that, fuck. Yeah. That black guy <laughs> from the suburbs that went to private school. Marsh. <laughs> Jesus, y'all, <sighs> y'all remember that that game verse where he's like. And then they cut me off at the McDonald's, so I walked up with my camera, took a snap, snap, reported them to the police because I was a snitch in a five oh. <laughs> The gay West Side. Who did he? Was he? <laughs> where is the picture going? Did he ever Super get to crib? that? Super crib. Super crib. He never got to it. <laughs> okay. Never got to Super where, Karen. Where the was going. Super Karen. You know what's funny? 
he's got a bit of everything in this story. Like he's okay. He's NRA member, right? Gun owner. He's Karen. And he's also a wigger. Like he's got to intertwine every piece <laughs> of fake identity into this. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and the black guy gave me a, another black guy gave me a high five as I was walking away from it. So I, ca I came out looking cool too. You know, do fucks you with you guys. Even the guys... minorities can't argue with these results. Do you guys have yeah. any stories where black guys dapped you up for your behavior? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I was a real one it, that it, night. It, yeah. It definitely boy. wasn't taking pictures of someone's license plates. Rex, why would Rex, you take pictures of his license plate? Like, that's what hood shit is that? Rex, that's let's hear one shit. of those stories. Let, let's hear one. I slapped a girl up. out in front of, I slapped a girl's face <laughs> outside of a nightclub. <laughs> and fucking, oh, yeah. The, the reason why I did it is because she slapped me and I was drunk. And fucking, I slapped her back, and the, the black dudes were like, Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> so <laughs> they approved. <laughs> they were like, Bitch. And then we just walked away and said, I was a real one that night. <laughs> Rex said, bitch. And then Merch jumped in and was like, all right, women's abuse is out of control. All right. <laughs> you need to behave yeah. yourself. She was in line, mister. All right. She was in line ahead of you. <laughs> you don't even have the right shoes at him. on. Do you, do you have ID, son? I, I'm going to need to see three to four forms of ID. <laughs> I'm the police now. So what, are, what are the chances that... Uh, this incident happened, but Mersh just sat in his car and fantasized this whole scenario. Yeah, up. I, I think <laughs> that was what happened. <laughs> and he's like, I'll tell this on Nightwave tomorrow. Oh, see, we were talking about it earlier. There's no physical way for you to leave or go backwards in line in a drive thru. Yeah. Does, does Mersh think he's Judge Dredd? Yeah, I, I'm the law, the, the judge, the and law. the executioner. Yeah. <laughs> I he's Clint Eastwood, fucking Gran Torino. But the hood still rides for me. Like the hood still, you know, they still fucks with me, you know. Where the hood? Imagine where the being hood, shot where over McDonald's. <laughs> Jesus. Doesn't he live in like Boca Raton or something? Like somewhere with like heaps of old people. You can like, take the like, hood. Out, you can take place, the yeah. out of the hood, but you can't take the hood <laughs> out of the drive-through at McDonald's. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I yeah, was my... sitting there putting on my goth eyeliner, and I said, this is out of control, all right? This injustice will <laughs> not stand. I'm basically Harriet Tubman, <laughs> all right? So I said, back of the <laughs> line, mister. Back of the bus. <laughs> but for black people, because they deserve to be at the yeah. front of the bus. <laughs> Jesus, like, I believe uh, I really made, I really related, um... I made this black guy relate to me, and I really think that he could feel. Why? What with good. your titties and your bald spot? What part of you related to black people? <laughs> if he said I fucks with did, you, did I you have some nice sneakers? On? You got some Yeezys? Yeah. Dude, this is, everything is so wrong about this. Like, okay, let me explain to y'all what it's like carrying a gun around. Like, this is something a real gun owner would do. A real gun owner would be walking down the street, right, and see two guys fist fighting on the sidewalk, and elect to not do anything or say anything and keep it moving because me getting involved in that situation puts a gun in that fight it's just a fist fight right now but if i go over there as mr captain save -a and then i get punched in the nose and i pull my gun out and shoot someone now so like you're not this is all this is wrong you're I, not supposed to deputize yourself I, you're supposed you, you keep yourself out of more situations than you normally would because cosmic. you have death on your side Quick, Cosmic, instant I, death is on your side. You have to be very I, careful with what you engage with. Like, this is I wrong. Think, Everything uh, about this is wrong. Cosmic, I think of having a gun the same as riding dirty. Where it's like, I don't want anyone to know. Hell I don't yeah, want I'm the you quietest. To know that I'm right. yeah, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And let him and let himself get beat up by a black hooker in Times Square. <laughs> and didn't even pull out his gun. And there was... There was black dudes watching that wanted to jump in and kick his Savages. ass. And he's like, this is not your show. <laughs> it's not your right? show. <laughs> as embarrassing yeah. as that so all Ant that let is. let himself get beat up and he still didn't pull out his gun. And, but he, <laughs> as embarrassing as that story is, it is a perfect display of fucking self-control. in a bad. Merch would have pulled out that gun on the stripper as soon as she was walking to him. He would have put, put it out and said, I'm going to stand on my ground, bitch. <laughs> like he. He wouldn't even take a hit right. before the gun would be out. Like, I promise you. <laughs> Kumia really was, like, the first person to get canceled. Kind of in that, that mm. mainstream way. Probably. 
Yeah, properly cancelled too. No. Like where there hasn't been any redemption because, like, look how many people turned on him. Like his friends. Kramer. Yeah, yeah like Louis C.K. won't even. Canceled. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Kramer. The OG. Kramer is back. Kramer was on Seinfeld's show. I remember when Kumia got cancelled. Yeah, we but had with apologies. That, I'm sorry the whole time. We had a with apologies that weekend where Lane went hard on fucking uh, Legion of Skanks producer. What's that retard's name? Oh, Ralph. When Sutton. was this? When did Kumia get cancelled? Ralph Sutton or something? Yeah. What? Summer 2016? Something like that? Just before, yeah. oh, before well, 2014. Yeah, well, so seven years well. ago. Well, like we still jerking we, off Howard Stern. Five years ago. We all thought he would be back by Monday. They're like, oh, they canceled him mm. on like Easter Sunday, but he'll be back. It, give him a week. He'll be suspended for a week. Uh, big deal. Nope. <laughs> he got canceled. Canceled, canceled. He's definitely had the biggest fall from grace as far as like what's happened to him. I mean, he had Karen Fian bullying him on his own <laughs> show. <laughs> that guy that owned the basketball team and his that. girlfriend was fucking one of the basketball players. He got canceled pretty early. Luis oh, yeah. J. Gomez, yeah. nappy headed hose, was <laughs> didn't take it as hard as Kumia. Yeah, what was I got? Yeah. Damn. On I miss. N- oh, good one, yeah, Kenny. He came back though. He didn't get Kenny. Canceled. He came Kenny back. knows all he said, the nappy headed hose guys. He, he got suspended. <laughs> he's a big fan. Back in Kenny the days, well, you would just get suspended. I just know now you Don get canceled on your first offense. Of dog shit. And you like him for that, no. right? Like you no, like him for that reason? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like reason. that was your favorite part? Because he was racist. Them? Kenny says no, Kenny I don't it. like Dom for any reason. Because they're monkeys, Why is right? he racist, Kenny? Why isn't he a sexist? Do you not care about the fact those women were referred to as hoes? You, okay, only, you only look at their skin color? He's both. He is a piece of dog shit. Either way. If you listen to Cosmic Cam's latest episode, The Late Night Sip, you'll find out that these women like being hoes, and they they read literature (laughs) about how to be... Because sometimes you just need a big dick. Sometimes. That's what a girl needs, Kenny. That's what Kevin Smith said about lesbians. are you listening? They just need a good deep dicking from a retard with cerebral (laughs) palsy. No, no. And that'll turn them (laughs) right around. I love the fact that... AJ Mitty from Breaking Bad is fucking David's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Not just fucking him, but bullying him. Like knocking his, yeah, his lunch tray over. Stealing his chips. My, he's mugging him. I'm stealing your girlfriend. I'm retired. Get used to Move out of the way. I'm, I'm going to fuck your bitch, cook. <laughs> <laughs> I came in her mouth. Her That's kisses great. taste like my cum. And give me your juice box. <laughs> yeah. yeah, retard Dante. Let's say another word. Fair. Merch is just dying, <laughs> laughing at his own jokes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it was very a funny. big overblown incident. I just thought it was funny, and it was again. There is a certain element of when but you know pause. you have something in your glove box. I just want to point out, like, no, there wasn't Merch. Sorry, I do like the patreon only episodes where i just talk and i'll i'll laugh at some of my own jokes there's a a completely different energy to performing by yourself versus like performing with a crowd like i i try to make you guys laugh mersh is on his own and every time he says something that he knows or thinks is funny he has to die laughing so he can laugh with you guys in the friendship simulator yeah, guys, we're all here together. We're all strapped up. You know, we're all like neo Republicans, where it's like we're based, but we're not based. We're QAnon. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's pandering to a specific type of guy that he believes is dying, laughing at this. Like, oh, what? What? <laughs> you had to pull your strap. Dig it! I pull the strap. <laughs> You just kind of go. Look at that gun. Look at it. Excuse me. I wasn't going to say anything, Looks... but I, this isn't This isn't fair. It's not fair. But yes, the person not I was fair. referring to, of course. Uh, Star Star we know. Star it's Star if you. 
All right, pause. <laughs> yeah. So this know. is this is an edit by Ellen Powell to where Mersh is now <laughs> freestyle rapping surfboard. Shout out <laughs> Alan Powell in the chat, by the way. Just just based on the way he's doing his head movements, and it's like, uh huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> P Diddy, 1996, y'all. Surfboard, surfboard. Just look at the way he rocks the podcast, you know, filling content, filling you in. Surfboard is Lil Mersh, <laughs> Lil so Popper. So that's the end of that video <laughs> without getting a copyright claim. That's the grab bag. But we also have Nightwave getting banned from YouTube and panhandling. It. Well, other than I'm just bored and I'm drunk. But <laughs> because I lost my YouTube, I'm probably going to lose a shitload of money. I'm probably going to lose thousands of dollars now that I'm going to get kicked off the YouTube partner program again. And even if I get... Mersh is sloshed. Yeah. He sounds like me at the end of my streams. <laughs> he tore up from the floor up. He like, oh, no, I fucking lost a part of the program. Uh, no, don't, like, don't burn that townhouse down, Marish. Careful. There's a 50 Cent song where he's like, when you get in trouble, you call the cops. He's like, oh, 5 is who you call. Susan yeah. Wazowski is who you call. Jack Dorsey is who you call. Ian. Murder, I don't believe in. Ian. Yeah. Bitcoin millionaires in the chat, and he says, "Someone tell J- Dodge Boy to shut up." <laughs> Dodge Boy, listen, son, I'm coming for your millies. I'm coming for him, son. We are gonna be financially independent. We're gonna make twenty million dollars off a of Dogecoin. Did YouTube kick him off of the partnership program, or do y'all think like it was the nefarious actions of Kiwi farmers or somebody like that? I'm not, I'm not, I'm scared now. I think it was Kiwi Kiwi Farms because (laughs) they're like, they're out for blood. Like they call the cops on him. They report the channel. It's like, guys, we're trying to fuck with him. Don't fuck with him too far. If he gets kicked off, we can't fuck with him. Like the lane, can you, can you articulate the level of like, you want to fuck with him at this level? You want to get a reaction from Mersh. You don't want to force a reaction from her. <laughs> if he's banned from everything, it's like, okay, it's over. The, the, close the page. We're done. We did it. We, we, we canceled him. But what is the point in that? Don't you want to make fun of him tomorrow? Don't you want to make fun of him the day after that? That happened, with, um, that happened with Jason Genova. Like the whole time, um, Jason was in, you know, putting himself out there. Uh, everybody's like, fuck, I wish you'd just die. I fucking hate this cunt. And then the, like the day he's gone away, it took about two weeks. And then everybody was like, oh fuck, we really miss him. You know, like he's, and he was really funny. Like all those things you, you're not going to have, if you don't have him around, like how are they going to be? Mersh, source of entertainment? Mersh got his stimulus check and he bought a BMW and a bitch's gun. Like, I want Mersh to make as much money as possible just so I can watch him make the worst decisions with his money. I, I want to yeah. watch yeah, yeah. him do terrible decisions with his money. I want to watch him go broke with money. <laughs> it's going to cost me thousands of dollars in lawyers. Either way, tonight we found out I'm out thousands of dollars. Now we'll see if you keep making videos for no money. Ooh. I remember that was one of the big things that old Mersh was saying about so me. I'm going to post this pause, one more time. Pause, so I'm, I'm... pause, Wait, okay, is this a throwback or is, is yeah. Owen Benjamin a throwback or is this situation? Owen Benjamin's an old throwback. Okay, this is okay. Mersh, okay. Mersh is known as a giant killer because he went after Owen Benjamin. And yeah. he said like, yeah, Owen, you wouldn't do this shit just to do it. You wouldn't do this just to be a gangster. You are about the views and the money. <laughs> you wouldn't do this for nothing. Well, Mersh, are you gangster enough to do this for nothing? No, are he's not. He told to Royce start? that. He told Royce that he wouldn't do that. Remember? They oh, got in a big fight. Oh, 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 oh. I got rent to pay. Oh, 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 oh. Maria's on my ass. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my. I can't believe my ears. <laughs> 